Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Alt Queries. Today we will see how to control mouse cursor using keyboard or how to operate your computer without using the mouse. Let's see. So sometimes what happens, our mouse stops working suddenly. So it might damage or you may run out of battery. So in such cases, there is a temporary method by which you can control the mouse using your keyboard. So let me show you how to do it. But before that, I want to tell you this works only on full keyboard. Now if you should have a keyboard with numpad so that you can control the mouse. As you can see here, this arrow marks these indicate that you can control mouse using these buttons. Now if you have a keyboard like this, this is a 60% keyboard or there are 10 keyless keyboards. For such keyboards, this trick won't work. So let's begin. Now I am assuming that your mouse is not working. So I am also not going to touch my mouse. I am going to show you by using the keyboard itself. So first let's go to a desktop. You can use this shortcut to go to desktop. Windows plus D. Right, right. Now we are on desktop. Now tap the windows button now here you can use the arrow keys to navigate but there is one issue here this is showing in other section now I want to go to this section so what I need to do here is use the tab so whenever you have to change the section or move to another section use the tab button see now I am in this section now I have to navigate to the settings using the arrow keys and press enter. Now again you can see the cursor is here. Now we have to move to this section. So use the tab button. Now after getting to this section use the arrow, key, arrow keys to navigate to this option ease of access. Click on enter. Again you need to press the tab button to go to this section. Now, now use the arrow keys to go to the bottom of this menu. You can see mouse option here. Click on enter. Now once again you need to hit the tab button. Now you can see the option control your mouse with a keypad. So this is off by default. So by turning it on you can now control your mouse cursor by using your keyboard. So turning to turn this on, you need to press the space bar. See right side right on. Now let's see if it works or not. I am holding the four key on the numpad, and you can see the cursor is moving. See. Now let me explain you some additional options here. Click on tab button to go to the bottom options. Now this option says only use mouse keys when numpad numlock is on. So if this option is enabled, uh, your numlock should be on. Only then you can use this shortcut or use this method. So if your numlock is off, you cannot move your cursor if this option is on. Now next option is show the mouse keys icon on the taskbar this is not necessary next option is hold the control key to speed up and shift key to slow down now if you see the mouse cursor speed now this is the average speed so let me turn on this option i am enabling by clicking by tapping the spacebar now i am holding the control button now i am using the shortcuts see this is moving much faster now so it is also good to enable this option. Now if I hold the shift key, it will move slow. This is normal as see. This is the normal speed. This is slow speed. And this is fast speed. That's it. You can close the window. By using Alt plus F4. 
we can also change the pointer speed pointer acceleration click on tab go to this option and use the arrow keys to increase or decrease this value now after you are done click on alt press f4 close it now you can use this numpad keys to move your mouse cursor now to open a file let me use my mouse to show you one thing so these are the options here the numpad keys 2 4 6 and 8 this 2 4 6 and 8 are used to move the cursor down left right and up so you can also see the arrow marks here two is to move your cursor down which is for left up and right now to move your cursor diagonally you can use the key 7 see the cursor is going diagonally 7 9 3 and 1 these four keys to move diagonally so by using these eight keys you can move around and just five key is to open a file file see let me move the cursor and you can use this five button to select a file or double click to open a file use the alt f4 to close the window and to right click so for right click you can you need to use the option button on the keyboard how uh, option button is see this this button to use the right click context menu you have to use this button on the keyboard so i will also give a link to my article in which there are several keyboard shortcuts which you can use when your mouse is not working so that's all for today if you have any issues you can comment below i will surely make a video on it and like our video and subscribe to our channel to support us thank you